It was the middle of summer, and there were no lights on Broadway. There were no commuter trains, air-conditioned homes, or computers across a wide swath of the country. A massive blackout from Michigan to New England and Canada plunged 50 million people into darkness. And it was just a matter of a few seconds. A tree branch in Ohio had hit a power line during a storm. In the aftermath, massive industry and regulatory efforts to make sure the cascade of outages never happened again. When you look back to where we were 10 years ago, we're in a much better spot today. Spending on maintenance and equipment upgrades has steadily increased. In Ohio, First Energy installed what they call capacitor banks to help long-distance transmission. If there's a sense that maybe there isn't enough voltage on the system for whatever reason, they automatically kick in, provide that voltage to help balance the system. The nation's grid is now better managed and more responsive to problems, even as overall power demand has fallen. Utilities share more information using satellites and high-tech programs for real-time monitoring. Transmission lines are up and running 99.6 percent of the time, according to NERC, an oversight agency. But the system isn't fail-safe. Could there be a bigger storm, a more、uh, unexpected event? It's it's possible. Experts say the aging grid is still vulnerable to extreme weather and cyber attacks, and like in 2003, may yet be unprepared for unforeseen threats. Cindy Sharp, Associated Press.